Did you know more than 100,000 people are on the wait list for a life-saving transplant? And more than 85% of them can be helped by a living donor. April is Donate Life Month, so joining us now is an expert from St. Luke's for some background on the subject. Let's go ahead and welcome in Dr. Matthew Wilkinson. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Grace. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. And so why is there such a big need for living organ donors? Part of the issue we have is, as you said, there's over 100,000 people waiting, and we don't have enough deceased donors for all of those patients. So the more people that can get a living donor, not only do they get transplanted faster, but in the case of kidneys, they then don't have to wait for those organs. And so who exactly is eligible to donate? What we tell everybody is don't rule yourself out as a donor. We always ask that anybody that would be interested that has someone they might like to donate to, to give us a call and we'll do that screening to make sure if they would be an appropriate donor. What does that process look like for determining if they can become a living donor? So the way we generally start the process is they'll start by talking with a social worker who will walk them through what it looks like to be a donor, what the surgical process looks like, what the recovery looks like, and really make sure they understand what they're getting into. After that, they would speak with one of our nurses who will go through their medical history and make sure they're an appropriate candidate. And then following that, they come in for about two days of testing. It's almost like becoming the $6 million man. We look at them and make sure that everything looks good from an anatomic, technical, surgical, and lifestyle perspective, and really ensure that they know what they're signing up for. And I mean, how big of a difference can this make in somebody's life? This can make a huge difference. I saw a patient last week who kept a living donor kidney for 28 years from their mother. So basically 28 years free of dialysis and we know that these kidneys on average last longer. So the average deceased donor kidney lasts for about seven years, whereas from a living donor, the average is 14 years. So you're doubling the time that someone may be free of dialysis. Absolutely incredible. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Thank you. And you can learn more about organ donation at stlukeskc.org.